my people, you see in this life, eh, nothing is hidden under the sun. When you are doing it, you might think it is a secret. One day, one day, a secret will be exposed. And as it is right now, and the two face, all of the two face, her secrets have been exposed. And God is going to continue to expose all her secrets as long as it is against Queen Naomi and the Union of the Reunion. And no, no peace for the wicked. Mm -hmm. It is clear. She might be pretending, you know, making a lot of people believe that she means well for this too. But all I do know is that as long as her intentions are not pure, her secret must be exposed. And right now, everyone is exposing her. First, it was uh, Olori Kalabash. They said Olori Kalabash have said that she have did something to the gifts. And the, to think that uh, a lot of people think that uh, Antique B and the uh, Olori Blue-Blooded are the major problem in that palace. They never know. They never know that this Auntie Two-Face eh, her own too much. Her own too much. You see, uh, Auntie Igbi, her own is that she will come out openly to tell you, you see this thing, I don't want it. And she will fight to ensure that she, that did not happen. And that kind of a person, you know you know who she is. You know how to go about it. But you see this other person who will come and be biting you and uh, blowing you. Ha, 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 ha. May God save us from their type. But thank God that uh, even Antigua, they all know her. You know that one thing about this solo is that I believe they are look they are, they are going to find or they are going to do some investigation, spiritual investigation about who is who, and uh, they are even they they might go as far as using something to monitor them both spiritually and physically. Mm -hmm. Because of course they are monitoring them. They have spies who give them information about these people. Yes. Hmm. But anyways, let's not just digress. Uh, they said there was a serious altercation between uh, Olori Two Face and the uh, Antigua. As they said, Antigua want her to go and confess, or else she would take KBC everything, including the ones that have not been exposed. And this is happening because everyone is pointing accusing finger on uh, Antigua. Because you know, say she's known for certain things. So when things like this happen, everyone will say she is the one. She and her colleague, Ati Blo Blo, not knowing that they are those ones that call themselves gospel them, that they are the worst enemy in that palace. From what we heard, they said, Ati Blo Blo, her people stormed the palace to come and they beg KBAC to do something about their daughter's condition. Because they said the condition is something that is eating something from her deeply. The fact that she, she cannot enter the palace and feel relaxed is a very big problem to her. And for that reason, she is doing everything within her power to ensure that she returns back to that palace. And remember she said that over her by body will she leave the palace for Queen Naomi to come back. And right now, She's not in that palace and she is working hard to ensure that she returns to the palace. Then they said her people came with her to the palace to come and beg KBSC to please allow her and the anti blue blue to come and do the ritual. Because according to the information, they said there was this bereaved pot that they buried inside the palace. And the reason for burying this bereaved pot was to be manipulating KBSC. To be confusing him allegedly, allegedly, so that uh, anything that has to do with Queen Naomi, he will not be talking about it, let alone working towards bringing her back. But because Queen Naomi's God is alive, <laughs> because she has a bigger God who is bigger than the reports and those that send the reports, there were so many revelations, both from pastors, from a priest, and so many of them. So, with all of these revelations, they were able to trace this report where they were buried. It is not one, it is not two, it is not three, from what we heard. And before these people, before the, the person that gave them the port gave it to them, there was rules and regulation guiding the port that on no account should another person see the port apart from the two of them. Then, on no account should another person touch the port or 
bring the pot out. But if for any reason, because uh, there are something, there are certain reasons that are beyond our control. They said, but if there is anything, any reason that is beyond their control, that another person sees that pot or dig it out from where they buried it, that what they must do is to rush to a very big ocean and throw that pot inside there. Now that is the only way the water will cool down all the things that came with the pot. That failure to do that, they are going to be in trouble. Maybe in their mind they have concluded that they will be careful. They have been doing things like that now. So this one will not be exceptional. They know their best, they know how to go about it, you know. So they went and buried the pot. When there is all these revelations and the prophecies and all of that, the pot were digged out by, they said it was this uh, custodian of Odua Secret Forest and some other if a priest from Brazil that helped them to dig all of those pots out. They did, they digged it out and they went and burned the pots, which is against the rules and regulation given to these women. Because they never know that a day will come when there will be revelations and all of that and the pot will be digged out. So when they burned this uh, pot, this two started experiencing this inching, inching body. Anytime they set their foot inside the palace, they will, be, they will never be comfortable. They, uh, their body will be scratching them, scratching them such a way that if they did not leave the palace, it will start doing them as people that have uh, kolo kolo, you know. So with that, they cannot be in the palace. But that is not what they want. They are fighting towards coming back to this palace. It was when they returned back to the person that gave them the pot that they said the person have told them that you people did not follow the rule. And yet they said they did not follow the rule. Then what is the way out? They said that the way out is to go and do the ritual in the palace so that they will be free. Now, before they will do the ritual, KBSC and the, the elders will permit them. And KBSC and the elders refused to permit them. That was why they said... Their family members have been coming to beg KBSC. Then on this particular occasion, KBSC said to their family members that unless the two of them tell him what happens to Queen Naomi's pregnancy, that she had miscarriage some time ago, you know, because when that thing happened, they said KBSC did not take it serious. But as story keep going on, there was a revelation that the women knew what happened to that pregnancy. And they said KBSC said unless they explain it to him, that was when he would uh, think of helping them to regain their uh, themselves, you know. And this uh, Auntie we know that uh, Auntie Olori Two Face is aware of what happened, and he said that uh, they said she now want uh, Olori Two Face to go and confess that she should go and confess to KBS so that KBS will do something about them. But if she fails to uh, confess, that she is going to open her mouth. Someone like uh, Olori Calabash also said that it was Olori Two-Face. And if she fails to confess, that she have evidence against her. So right now, we don't know who to believe and who not to believe. All I know is that God is going to expose all of them from A to Z. <laughs> I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? They are not for stand information. I wasn't in the palace. Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up and thank you for being here. I love you guys. Bye for now.